Oh my god. I'm feeling so good. Who are you? Have I been cloned? Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Nails and Orbit. Today I'm introducing my twin sister, Shelly. Hi. We are doing her right hand today. We didn't have enough time to finish the other hand while she was here. It still has acrylic. Don't get me wrong, but there's no art. But we are doing her kitty cat, Yzma, in cartoon form, dressed in many outfits. And we are dressed in these funny outfits today because we are going to a New Year's party. Mm -hmm. right after this so let's show them let's show them what okay. we got let's see we've literally had these since we were in high school they've really come in handy but yes let's get started on the nails and then we're gonna go party happy new year it's not gonna be new year's when we post this but it doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone. So now that you've met my sister, we're going to go ahead and do her nails. She obviously is a cat lady. She loves her cat so much and almost all the time she wants cats on her nails. So, or her cat specifically on her nails. So she actually drew these um, drawings. She's a much better artist than me, but if we did have a nails art on nails competition, I would definitely win. But anyway, we're starting off. Um, she designed them so they would all have the exact same base and then just different outfits basically. So that's what we're doing. We're putting the cat base on there and we just start with a gray base and then fill that in with a head, body, and some ears. All right, so now that that's done for all five fingers, we're just moving on to the orange that Yzma has on her face. I'll throw the picture in here, actually. Okay, I'll throw the picture in here so you guys can see it as we go. But now I'm throwing the orange on every single nail. Now we're getting started on the first design. So I'm doing the eyes first. I just use my daughter tool and do a gray eye and then a yellow eye. So Yzma is actually blind in one eye. When my sister adopted her, um, I guess the owners before, there was some sort of um, neglect. So she had something in her eye that like could have been fixed, I guess, and now, and then it wasn't. So Shelly takes care of her. She puts eye drops in her eyes every single day to make sure it doesn't bother her. But yes, she is blind in one eye. When we first got her, actually, she would spin around like to look at stuff. She would spin because she was looking through one eye. It was super cute. But um, yeah, now so you just put the daughter eyes and then just I just lined where my sister had the line work. She didn't want the whole thing lined. Um, I did nails before like this for her, but they were just like a little bit of um, Yzma's head. I'll pop in the picture. But yeah. So I line work around the eyes. I do a little nose and mouth, which is easy, a triangle and a few lines. And now I'm just putting in a little bit of the orange hair because she is a tabby cat, tortoiseshell tabby cat. Um, and she's just super cute. All right, so now we're moving on to the second outfit. We are doing the bat outfit, super cute. Um, she has a black cat, so my sister does like to get her like Halloween collars and stuff like that and really embrace the black catness. And then, so we're starting off the same way, doing the eyes the same way. I see here that I did mess up and I did not do her eyes skinny like that because when she's angry, her eye gets super full and black, like the circle. And then when she's not angry, her eye gets like skinny like that. Um, I don't know why. I'm, I know there's a reason. I'm sure my sister knows why, but I don't know why. I just know when she has those big eyes to be a little bit scared of her, to be honest. <laughs> and now, so yeah, we're just filling out everything. The bat wings, I did them. I didn't like them and my sister didn't like them. So we redo them at the end. But anyway, throw the face on, put those teeth on, put the body on or the belly. 
she has a really white belly it's really cute my sister's convinced she has like white skin because you can see um her like through the top of her head it looks like she's not balding but you can like see her little skin through there and it's really really white so she thinks that's really cool but yeah add in the little orange spots and then we'll go back to the bat wings and I will show you guys how I did that at the end and now we're moving on to the third kitty the snow kitty I think she wanted this one because we were just at my grandma's and it snowed and we actually got stuck and it was in Ohio and I was like good god but we had to get a whole new flight and everything so this one I'm doing the same thing just blocking out the colors like I usually do we have the beanie and the scarf and then after that we will move on to all the line work I definitely felt like this cat was the funniest. I liked this one. She's got her fish in her mouth and she's super cute. I don't know why I jumped to the line work so quick on this one. But anyway, you fill in the color. Apparently, I put the line work next. And then I'm going to do the fish after that. So now I'm just adding the whole color of the fish. Sorry, it's so blurry. This was my first time actually filming me doing nails on somebody else for a video. So it's a little bit of trial and error. But I'm happy I got to do it with Shelly. Because she can just sit there and be patient. <laughs> So yeah, we're filling in the color for the fish and then getting that whole fish in there. And then after we'll draw like the little top of the mouth to make it look like she's actually biting the fish. So you don't have to paint around that. There you go. Right there. Alright, so now for the grand finale. Yzma is actually named after Yzma from Emperor's New Groove, which is kind of fun because Yzma in the movie, spoiler alert, turns into a cat. So it was so fitting. I thought it was the cutest name ever. It's also her favorite um, like movie, not favorite movie, but favorite like animated movie. And she loves it. So we had to, of course, do an Yzma outfit for Yzma very cute so we first just start off the same with the eyes do a little mouth and then we just add the earrings and then I just do the whole background first and then I'll do the lashes after
eyelashes for me, for some reason, were so hard. I did not get them perfect, but it's okay. It's all right. Because Yzma's eyes go out so long, and I was like, oh. I think I just made them a little bit too thick. So if you guys ever draw Yzma, just make them real thin eyelashes. <laughs> We are now back to the bat wings. I just shaved them off with my nail drill and then I'm making them a little bit smaller so that you can see them better when you're looking straight on the nail because at first you could just you couldn't see like the actual wing points. You could just see that there was like black right there. So I just made them a little bit smaller, fixed them up. Now, of course, we are top coating. I always do two top coats when I do nail art on anybody so that it's nice and secure. It smooths it out. It looks good. And then we'll come back with the reveal. And I have a little bit of bloopers at the end if you guys want to see them. <laughs> And here they are. She absolutely loved them. This is actually the longest set of nails she's gotten from me too. I had to convince her, but it worked out good. They're on and they're functional, so it's fine. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you liked meeting my twinsie. I hope I surprised people. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, ready? Okay. Ready? Oh, wait, wait, I'm not ready. <laughs> Have I been cloned? <laughs> I think we did a good job, actually. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh! Shelly!